Uh, yeah, go ahead, please. said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty Please question. Please go ahead. Why does it matter? Okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, next please. But you, did, you called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on Sorry, I just want the young to, lady in the back, please. I just want to let my colleague finish, okay. but can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You thank you very much. This question, uh, and uh, going after another... ...now has the capacity to do... ...rather than allowing Caitlin Collins of CNN to ask her question, President called an end to the news conference after a dust-up uh, question and answer uh, with an Asian reporter over why he called out China. She asked a perfectly legitimate question about why uh, inject global competition into testing when the death toll is still rising and perhaps mirroring what is going to be over and over again said in defense of this administration his reply was don't ask me ask china uh, an interesting white house press conference let's say at the outset um, none of the established medical experts were there today so for americans wanting to hear from a representative of the cdc for example uh, that was not possible today no Dr. Burks, of course the CDC director and Dr. Fauci are going through a kind of limited quarantine after coming into contact with a positive case. The president came out with a declarative statement. It took a long time in his remarks before he got to expressing anything about the rising death toll in our country and even then he couched it as part of a global problem. He said, quote, we have met the moment and we have prevailed. Uh, when questioned about that later, he said he meant testing, uh, that he meant testing. Uh, the Admiral uh, has clearly learned to back up the Commander-in-Chief. His first words out of his mouth were, thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership. Um, there was a lot about testing, as you might imagine. Uh, we do have great testing capacity. At the White House, we're doing it, said the president. He was asked a lot about the positive cases they've had about face masks. He said, uh, we've learned a lot. The American people have learned a lot about face masks, the good and the bad, by the way, indicating there was a downside to face masks. He said it's uh, not one-sided, uh, did not elaborate on that, but he said the wearing of face masks included the good and the bad. Um, he went after China uh, about, uh, on the, asked a question about the hacking issue. He said, I'm not happy with China. About China, he asked rhetorically, what else is new? About the fourth quarter into next calendar year, I think it's something that's going to be very special. Um, the only people who can mess that up in the president's telling are the Democrats. Um, about the pediatric illness that is affecting children out of nowhere and has killed several, especially in the New York area. Um, the president said uh, uh, children recover from that. Well, the admiral was called upon to correct that, which he did indeed do. He said most children recover from that. There have been fatalities. Uh, in something that in plain English didn't come out right, the president said one of the things we were most proud of deaths per 100,000 people. Uh, he ranked us alongside Germany 
uh, the point he was trying to make is that we're at the lowest of the uh, industrialized world in deaths per 100,000 people in population didn't quite translate that way. Continuing to go through my notes, an exchange with Yamiche Alcindor about the Ahmad Arbery case in Georgia. President said he called the uh, one black Republican senator, uh, and that's Tim Scott, not from Georgia, but from South Carolina, who confirmed to the president he was troubled by it. But on testing, which will be the headline from this press availability, here are some quotes from the president. Americans should be should all be able to get a test right now. If somebody wants to get tested right now, they'll be able to get tested. He added, not everybody should get a test, but then he repeated, if people want to get tested, they get tested. He said in Florida, the governor told him, people sit around and wait for people to get in. They have an overabundance of testing there. Um, and then at the end, of course, when asked, why the uh, emphasis on comparing nations of the 184 nations he constantly mentions, why that kind of competition in the face of this death toll? He said, don't ask me, ask China. It's a lot, but it is every time we cover one of these events and with us to talk about it, Robert Con It's obvious, and then he didn't answer it. Yeah, so he, I, I don't even know. And then he suggested he said that, and that was that? and then he suggested uh, things will be coming forward in the next uh, few weeks. So you'll see, but but he refused to answer. He he, he did he did accuse he did accuse uh, the uh, former president of the United States of committing, in his words, and I'm paraphrasing him once again, the greatest crime uh, in American history. Uh, let me play this clip. Stand by for a moment. That matter. Why is this a global competition to you? If every day Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me, ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody who would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty question. Please question. go ahead. Why does it matter? Okay, uh, anybody else? Please, go certainly, ahead. Uh, certainly was not a nasty question. Uh, you know, uh, Gloria, it was, it was really awkward uh, to see that unfold, and I give our White House correspondent, Caitlin well, Collins, a lot of credit for deferring to that colleague of hers who was asking a reasonable question, and the president said uh, to this Asian-American, go ask China about that. Well, I, I, and I think I give the journalists a lot, of, a lot of credit because what she is saying is, are you being racist and asking that question to me? Now, he denied it, but you can judge for yourself, Wolf. There he was saying to her, ask China. Why would he do that? And, you know, I, I, I think this isn't the first time this has occurred from this president. And I think that, uh, you know, she, she had a lot of guts in saying to him, are you asking me this? Because I, you know, because of my appearance and who I am. Yeah, which was a fair question and a fair response. Uh, you know, Caitlin Collins is with us right now. Caitlin, you were there on the scene. Uh, you know, give us your sense of, uh, of what happened uh, on, on several related issues. And as Gloria correctly points out, the president accusing the former president, Barack Obama, of committing the greatest crime, Obamagate, he keeps calling it, although when pressed, what crime did he commit? He, he didn't have an answer for that. He said, stick around, maybe you'll see something in the next few weeks. Yeah, well, he said the answer to that question was obvious, though he did not state what it was if he feels it's so obvious. And, of course, a strange end there to the press conference where the president had called on me. I was letting my colleague, Weijia Jang from CBS, finish her question, and then the president abruptly ended the press conference, did not let me ask my questions. We had multiple questions, of course, for the president. He had not called on us yet. And this was not only about testing, but also the president is facing questions about the coronavirus outbreak happening here at the White House and what he is going to do moving forward with his relationship with the vice president, who notably was not there, Wolf. I don't think that that has ever happened um, in our time here at the White House, where the vice president has been here in Washington at the White House and not attended a press conference that the president was having. So clearly some kind of separation happening there. But then when the president was asked at the end, you know, he, what his point of this entire press conference was to talk about testing and to talk about how his administration has ramped it up. And he repeatedly was talking about where the United States falls 
in the world ranking of who is doing the most testing, testing not only you know overall but also per capita. And when the reporter at the end was asking why that is such an important thing for him to stress, why does he keep talking about that as in you know a global ranking basically, that's when he got irritated at the end when he was telling Wu Jiang to ask China that answer to that question. And Wolf, we had a, several other questions for the president, including about his own decisions that he's made, what he's going to do going forward after he decided not to self-quarantine, after his personal valet tested positive for coronavirus. We've seen several officials who came in contact with the vice president's press secretary decide to self-quarantine after they had sustained periods of contact, though that is not an option that the vice president himself is taking. And of course, Wolf, the other thing you noticed that was different in that press conference today out in the Rose Garden than what we've seen in any others is that the staffers are wearing masks, the ones you saw standing alongside the colonnade, even the Health and Human Services Secretary, Jared Kushner, another official that they've hired to come and help with testing. The guests were wearing masks, but the president himself was not wearing a mask. And we know previously when the CDC issued that guidance at the beginning of April, saying they believe people should cover their face when in public and they couldn't socially distance from others, that the president said he was not going to follow that. So the question is, is he also not going to follow this new requirement that staffers entering the West Wing should all be wearing masks? So a lot of questions to the president, Wolf, but he did not take any from CNN there at the end. Yeah, certainly, uh, certainly 